Hi, hello and welcome to another episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It's me, your boy, and your nomad. We're in Yantar, getting ready to go down into the Miracle Machine, which I believe is down there. But down there is not quite where we want to go just yet. Although it's obviously the next major thing we do, I do still want to check out some of these corpses. There might be, you know, might be some juice for us. Some ammo or, I don't know, something. Although we are already pretty heavy, which I mostly attribute to, well, partly this shotgun, which is nearly five kilos, which I'm taking just out of, you know, being a complete hoarder. But maybe it'd be better if I left it behind. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but it's in really good condition. It's an automatic shotgun. Uh, I've got some ammo here. More ammo, that's good. More ammo and grenades. Okay, this is this is this was a good idea. There's a fence there. Okay. There's a snork over there still alive, maybe? What's that? H and K MP5, AKS 74U, AK74. Alright, I'm just gonna leave that. Uh oh, boxes. Always gotta smash the boxes. Always gotta smash these. Ah, uh, what a swears. Nothing there. Okay. Um, we have 315 rounds for the AK. <laughs> Get in the bins, on. 315 rounds for the AK. We're going to go now. Um, I really just wanted to make sure I wasn't leaving behind anything extremely valuable. Is that just a random leg? Oh, God, he's, like, squashed under there. Yeah, 300-something rounds for the AK. So we should be all right. I guess we just go for it. We just go for it. I don't think I have any night vision or anything. I love that scream. I love that scream. Alright, on we go. This should be a quick load. Yeah, there we go. And already we can hear the zombies, which is just... Thank you. Yeah. It is vital that we study the installation in the lab. Try to be activated so we can examine it properly. Listen, the prototype can't protect you from destroying the mission forever. I provided for this. When you get hit by a strong field, the timer will start ticking. As soon as the time runs out, the prototype will stop protecting you. So take care and remember about the timer. Okay. So ignore the timer is what you're saying. <laughs> What's that? Sawn off Toz and an AKS. So we should get. Hey, there we go. That's what I wanted. The ammo. Don't need that. Don't need that. Hello. Come on, you guys must think I'm simple. I mean, a shotgun in, a, in, a, in an environment like this is like... I remember this guy. In an environment like this, I think a shotgun is just perfect. But then if I really thought that, why didn't I bring a lot more ammo with me? That's a very good question, and I'm glad you asked. Ooh. I believe this is a stash over here. <gasps> I didn't realize there was a VSS Vince Res in there, but how am I going to be able to carry it? Yeah, we should be able to carry it. Yo, I had no idea. I literally didn't know there was a VSS Vince Res. I just thought I'd take a chance. Um, that's amazing, because we found some ammo for this, didn't we? Yeah, we've got 100 rounds for it. It only has 10 round magazines, though, which is hellish. Um, it's, like, it's, the, uh, it's like the flagship gun of this game. Can I take the scope off? No, he sadly can't. Okay, great gun, but maybe not what we want right this second. Okay, well there's something for you. If you want a VSS Ventures, just go look just go look uh Just go look there. One of these is gonna have a mesh on it. I'm gonna guess it's that one. Oh no, maybe I can I'm just thinking if I toss a grenade out there. Maybe we can 
But yeah. Oh, that's a good throw. Well, we did something. We did something for sure. Any more stashes here? Not that I can see. <sighs> Don't be scared. Zombies. Oh, oh scheiße. Don't be scared. I said, don't be scared. <laughs> uh, oh, hi. Oh, terrible. Just awful. Vinteres me, daddy. Let's go. There we go. That gun sounds so good. Um, bandages. 545 ammo. We'll definitely take that. This shotgun. A little bit disappointing, although maybe zombies are intended to not be... Um, let's drop that. Maybe zombies are intended to not be very vulnerable to... Ooh, what's this? It's nothing. Not very vulnerable to shotguns, maybe? Hello. Another MP5. Does it have a suppressor on it? Doesn't look like it. I'm going to be mashing the quick save button like a madman because I'm, I'm like I've got the fear sweats already. Ah, <laughs> uh, screw off. Shut up, you. Nobody thinks you're funny, dude. We got burners here. Are we loaded? Yeah, we're loaded. We're locked and loaded. Burners there. Come on, we all know what's coming. We all know what's coming. Observe. Don't be scared. I gotta take the scope off. The scope is not necessary. Oh, come on, this is so easy. <laughs> oh wait, there was nothing here. <laughs> Okay, well, it's fine. Better to be safe than sorry, right? Ooh. What have we got? AKS, AKS. We need ammo. We desperately need ammo. There we go, there's some. Ooh, a grenade, nice. Uh, who else has... Wasn't there another zombie around here? I thought there was. And I feel like this area should be full of loot. Should be full of goodies for us. What's the point in going to a... A secret lab? If it isn't full of juicy goodies for you, you know? Ooh, there we go. Yo, there we go. That's the stuff. Wait, wait, wait. That's like, that's like sniper rifle. That, that's not good to anybody. Go away. I'm trying to take all the loot. Also, I'm way fat. I mean, maybe we just like give up the ghost and just say goodbye to the Spass 12. Unload. Drop. It gets us down to 52 kilos. A measly 52 kilos. Baby weight. There we go, there's some 545, that's just what we wanted. Bro, you gotta, you gotta move. 
Okay. I've literally got like a little stream of sweat <laughs> running down my back right now. Uh, I don't like it. Even though I kind of like more or less behind me? You gotta get up earlier than that, buddy. You gotta get up much earlier than that to scare old Enyo. What? Fuck up. Piss up. Hey, there we go. What are they shooting at? Who's in there shooting? Hello? Scope time, I think. Here they come. Which way is that light coming from? Attention. Oh shit. Critical emissions. Oh no. Leave the area immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave your mum, bro. I can't see where they're coming from. I see the flashlights, but that's all I see. We've got three minutes to get up the stairs and turn off the big brain. Big brain moments. Uh oh. Let's, uh, let's do a G fuel. We need the stamina. This uh, this YouTube video is sponsored by G fuel. Actually, I'm not sponsored by anybody. Because I'm only a baby. I'm only a baby YouTuber. Uh oh. Hello. Eat shit. And the, the horse you rode in on, bruh. We're gonna come back for all this loot. We're gonna come back for all this, absolutely, 100%. It's kinda loud, no? I hope the audio balancing is okay. I've had a hella trouble getting my audio balancing correct for this, uh, for this recording. Can I turn you off, please? There we go. Ah! Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Pay attention. Watch where you're walking. Let's get some bandages. There's, uh, this is the average, this is, this is the brain of the average YouTube like and subscriber. Insanely huge brain. Extremely potent. And these guys, these are the average, like, non-likers and non-subscribers. So make sure you, you know, make sure you like and subscribe and tell your cat about the channel. Um, if you want to be, if you want to be like this, mega brain. Mega mind. And the brain, the brain, like, you don't want to see the size of the brain of the people who come and catch me live every day on twitch.tv forward slash your nomad. Those brains, shh, listen. Listen, I, I can't even begin to describe. The, the girth and the number of folds. There's a burner up there. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's today's plug. Extremely on point. Quick save time. Nothing back there. Plug. Did I forget something? Did I forget a thing? Oh, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Let me... Ah. I'm pressing F. You fuck. Did I forget a, did I forget a switch? Did I forget that switch? Shut up. I'll unlock your mum in a minute. I might have forgotten this thing. Yep. Duh. It's fine, don't even worry about it. 
I was distracted by uh, plugging the channel. I almost died because I was too busy. Ah! Screw off. So I've got ages of time. Just bask in the glory of this insanely huge brain for a second. Gigantic. Hooray! Hooray! We did it! And then we fall over. <gasps> oh, a cutscene. If this is so important, why didn't you explain what you are going there for? And where did... Where did you get this photo from? If you only knew where I've just been and what I saw. One day you'll finish badly, Strelak. Hold on, son. You're going to make it. Actually, really good quality cutscenes. Like for 2007, <clears throat> these are incredibly good cutscenes. Take the documents. Take the documents from Ghost. Wait, who's Ghost? Where's Ghost? Hello? F6 time. Come on, bro, I see you. I see you. Uh oh. Come on, dude. We're looking still for. Ghost. We'll take the shotgun shells, why not? Plenty of ammo. Now I should really go back down the stairs, I suppose, and more thoroughly explore things, but let's have a little look upstairs first. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh no. Oh no. He's going to feel that in the morning. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Right in his junk. Maybe ghosts in here. Ghost? Oh, you're not ghost. Maybe ghost is in here somewhere. Maybe ghost is in the toilet. Are you ghost? You must be. Look at him. Ah. Where the hell are you, Strelok? Damn. And Doc's gone. I could really do with her help right now. When I get back from the mission, I'm gonna find the guy at the perimeter. He goes there a lot. And he may help me find Doc. And if Strelok's still alive, Doc will know for sure where to find him. Anyway, that's for later. And now I'm all alone. On this stinking underground mission. Vasiliev doesn't count. He's just a burden which I'll have to protect. <laughs> Vasiliev lost it at the very last moment. And when the door opened, he ran off instead of deactivating the lower consoles. I shouldn't have relied on him. Strelok was right to mistrust those lying dogs. My only chance is to get to the door before the controller. Hmm. Vasiliev lost it at the very last moment, and when the door opened, he ran off instead of deactivating the lower consoles. Uh, hello. I shouldn't have relied on him. Strelok was right to mistrust those lying dogs. My only chance is to get to the door before the controller. Ghost, you okay? You're kind of repeating yourself a little bit. 
I guess that one slipped through QA testing. Um, rumor has it that the Ghost Stalker never carries a first aid kit with him. Everything heals on him like on a dog. They say that he has an unusual suit that he got on an anomaly. Cool. It's in perfect condition. But we've got to give it to these nerds, so I guess we're not going to keep it. Um, well, rip Ghost. And also we've got another quest. What was that? Uh, bring the documents, bring the suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find Strelok, find the family rifle. Uh, there was something there about meet the guide, talk to guide, where? Where does he live? Oh, was that the guy we rescued, like, from those dogs way back there? Okay. Yeah, I'll be down for doing that. But yeah. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, no, not helicopters, bro. Helicopters never bode well. F6 time. Hey, dude. <laughs> Sit down, son. Get folded. <laughs> Ooh, that was funny. Where's the other smoke? There he is. <laughs> He's doing the splits. What a guy. What's going on with these? Helicopter, helicopter. Ooh, Fang's goodies. A stash in pre, which is probably appropriate. I'm really hoping. I mean, it sounds like they're clearing out the entire map up there. Ooh, a smoke leg. Don't mind if I do. Um, yeah, sounds like they're clearing out the entire map up there. Which could be good for us. But not if they hang around, because I don't really want to fight a helicopter. Jeez Louise. Nerd. All right, nearly there. I hope. Well, this is, I don't know, this is a lot of, this is a lot of heavy artillery being expended up above us. How about? I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a drug, uh, drug kit. I'm going to use a G Fuel again. It lowers our weight and gives us more stamina at the same time, so... Eee, I don't remember how to do this. I guess we have to... Well, yeah. I guess we have to do this. There we go. We're okay. I apologize for like being fairly quiet right now, it's just how much is there to say? We're running through a sewer with a helicopter, obliterating everything in a five mile radius above us. Screw off. There we go. And I should really not be using the scope, but I feel like this is a combination of very, like, tight corners and short ranges, combined with extremely long ranges, like... Like that. Oh, 
Right, let's F6 real quick. Yeah. All kinds of toxic gunk. Probably best not to walk into that stuff. What's this? Oh, it's a... <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. I wasn't expecting that to be that easy. I knew there was a pseudo giant down here, but... Yeah. Hey friend, how you doing? You got nothing? Loser. Alright, let's get out of here. Gonna take another... Uh... I'm gonna eat... Do I have anything to eat? Not really. I just use that, just for funsies. I'm not sure if it's actually possible to increase our overall like weight limit in Shadow Chernobyl. Hopefully it is, like maybe some artifacts will help. I don't even really have any food, it's I mean it's just uh I'm just carrying mostly loot, I guess. The suit is not helpful. But I think we made it. I think we made it. We just gotta get back to the lab. Oh, yeah, there goes the helicopters. Can I get through here or is this yeah, this is all fenced up. You have to jump over the top, I remember this. Hopefully the helicopters don't come and abuse us too much. Mm. Wow. You would be advised not to wander around unless you have to. Oh, and by the way, drop by our bunker every once in a while, won't you? Oh, drop by. There's a zombie literally right there. Good job, guys. You're doing a bang up job. As usual. You want to maybe deal with this? Let's go and see. Let's go and see Sakharov. I presume the helicopters won't stay here permanently. I don't remember them staying here permanently, and I think that's something that would stick in my mind. Ooh, but we've gone to our second big... Oh yeah, they've gone already. We've gone to our second big lab and... came out relatively unscathed, or, you know, had one sketchy moment where I forgot to turn off the console, which is the entire reason I was there, but... Still, we, we, did, we made it in time. Um, we managed to get all our loot, we got a couple of extra side quests. I think we came out with not much less ammo than we went in with. Hello? Something growling him? No, no. Hello! Right, quick save. Hey, how you doing? How's life? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I just dealt with the thing you guys have been here for five years unable to deal with. Hello! You did a splendid job, marked one. Now the emissions are turned off, we will be able to order new expeditions and explore previously inaccessible territories. And also, from now on, we will conduct a most favourable pricing policy towards you. Thank you. Uh, I'm here for the other job. Ghost suit. You did a great job. Allow me to present you your reward. SSP-929M suit. I think I already have one of those. Uh, was there another job? Uh, bring the eye of a flash, bring a gravity artifact. We haven't done either of those. You got anything else for me? Purge the lair of snorks. The small amount of money that you'll receive if the snorks living in the swamps will stop bothering me and my colleagues. Sometimes when we're carrying out our experiments, we can't even concentrate. 3,000 rubles plus two first aid kits. Sure, why not? Um, what else you got? Oh, what is this? This is slightly different, I think, from the other suit I've already got. Oh, wow. It's got 40 bulletproof as well. Whereas this thing... Yo, it's like as good as my current suit. But better. Uh, what's this thing? A Siva suit. Produced by, we've already read this description, 45,000 rubles, so we can't quite afford it yet, but... Uh, it looks pretty good. I think this is the suit I had before. The SSP-99 Ecologist. It should be just back here, Hello. I think. Uh, oh wait, no, the stash is in here, isn't it? Let's have a little look-see. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that's the SSP ninety nine Ecologist, which is fifteen thousand rubles, and this is the twenty four thousand ruble SSP ninety nine M. High quality modified SSP ninety nine suit. It provides increased body protection from bullet and shrapnel damage. It's designed for the guards working with scientific expeditions. Provides good protection from radiation and biological anomalies. It is resistant to chemically aggressive environments and other effects dangerous to the body. I think we're probably going to use it. We're just like drowning in good gear now. Um, I might, I might carry the AK seventy four for a while longer, but we're we'll probably getting to the point where the Vintres is going to be our next. Like it does insanely high damage. I'm just worried about not having a grenade launcher, and I'm worried about the ten round magazine, which is incredibly low. I don't know if there's a higher magazine capacity version available. Um, but I think this is a good place to call this episode. We've achieved like an objective, so it's a good place to just just pause and collect ourselves and come back and have another crack. Um, so I will say thank you all very, very much for watching. If you are enjoying the series, a like and a subscribe would be super appreciated. It'll make sure you get to see future episodes. And, you know, after Shadow Chernobyl, we're definitely going to play Clear Sky and Call It Appropriate. Um, and as I said earlier, you can catch me live every single day, twitch.tv forward slash Enyo Nomad, usually about 6 p.m. GMT, give or take. But yeah, um, yeah, hi. Thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye for now.